Hello and welcome to the section of the Chemistry Tutor. In the last section we learned how to handle these redox reactions in a basic solution. And even though it may seem straightforward that we're just taking our procedure for acid solutions and modifying it, we still need to work some problems to get some practice. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. And I think you'll find that it's not a big deal. So CrO4 to negative plus S like this yields S plus CrO2 negative. So that is our reaction. It is net ionic already because you can see the ions everywhere. Uh, all of the um, spectator ions have already been uh, canceled, so to speak. So step one, we're going to say check mark because that's already a net ionic equation. Step two is the half reactions. So now let's write the half reactions down. Let's go ahead and work in green for now. So the chromium goes with the chromium. So what we're going to have is CrO4, negative two charge, gives me CrO2, negative one charge. So we have negative two charge here, negative one charge there. That's the half reaction. The other half reaction is negative two on the sulfur going to neutral sulfur atom. All right, so then let's go to step three, which is balancing. I'm gonna call it the initial balance. That means balancing everything except for hydrogen and oxygen. So what we have is chromium and chromium is balanced, sulfur and sulfur is balanced. So I'm just going to check mark that. There's no reason to write it again if I'm not making any changes at all to it. So step number four. So step four is balance oxygen with water, H2O. All right. And so what we're going to have, I definitely have some oxygen here. So CrO4 2 negative goes to CrO2 negative. So here I have four oxygens and two oxygens. So if I'm going to balance with water, I need two more waters on the right-hand side. So that's, that's done. I don't have any oxygens here, so I'm just going to rewrite it. Okay, so I'm done with that. Now the next step is to balance the hydrogens with hydrogen ions. Now we know we're not in a basic solution. We know that because that's given to you in the problem. Balance this equation in basic solution. That's how it would be phrased for you, right? But we pretend it's acidic solution for the purpose of this process. That's kind of how I'm teaching you to do it. So we know that we don't have these in solution, but we just pretend because it works out mathematically that you can do it. So we have CrO4 2 negative yields CrO2 negative plus 2H2O. All right, so we have four hydrogens there, so that means we're going to need four hydrogen ions here. And again, we know these aren't real, but we're using them to further our, our balancing here. So we have negative two going to sulfur there. There's no hydrogen.